Hello and welcome to my channel and Happy New Year 2018 Sorry that I'm a bit late with that this this year now um, Yeah, I had a bit of a audio problem yesterday, so Yeah, I'm a bit late with the New Year wishes um, But I hope you guys had a wonderful new year and hope you guys had some wonderful um new year's resolution for this year i know i have and some of them include this channel well for this channel and um yeah i hope you guys um had some wonderful time with your families as well during this Christmas time as well, during the past Christmas time, and um, yeah, I wish you all the best for this year, and yeah, I hope 2018 will be a good year. So, just wanted to um, wish you all a happy new year and now the um yeah the christmas blues are setting in uh, i don't want it to end yet um yeah christmas time is just such a wonderful time of the year and i actually don't want it to end actually but um yeah this is gonna be just a relatively shortish video just wanted to yeah have some fun with this game now today just yeah for yeah this is just gonna be for entertainment more so yeah let's launch some stuff in through the solar system starting with Okay, um, let's see, let's see, ah, uh, yeah, I think we're gonna start with Sagittarius, Sagittarius A. So, that's the, um, black hole in the center of our galaxy, which, let me just orientate myself here quickly, it should be, well, in this area here, um, okay, more like maybe over he here roughly, where it basically keeps the galaxy in place. Well, not in one place, but in one piece. So, let's launch it at the center of our solar system. And everything is getting sucked in. Bye, solar system. Okay, or maybe not. Everything is. Okay, didn't quite expect that. Um. Just go to charts and. Okay, I did not quite expect this. Okay, what? Okay, I have no idea what just happened. Um, what? I think we need to do this a bit over so let's just go to our solar system again um here it is uh, i think we should try something with a bit less mass so let 
Okay, so Proxima. Yeah, we're gonna do Proxima Centauri, which is the closest star to our solar system. So let's try that again. And. Okay, let's see what happens. Let me just make that smaller and a wave of you. I really wonder what's gonna happen now. Okay, our sun and Proxima are slowly coming together. Okay, I predict that the two are gonna come into contact and go supernova. Okay, that's what I predict, but let's just see what happens. And three, two, one. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, I thought so. Supernova and... Yeah, that is really heating everything up, eh? Okay, let me just pause this so we can see what's... Oh my... Neptune, what happened to you? <laughs> Oh, okay. That must be the... Well... Core of Neptune. Yeah. Um... Yeah, you see, Neptune isn't all... Hydrogen and helium, it does have a small metallic, a small iron, nickel, and rocky core. The rest is just um, water, ammonia, methane, ice, and then the rest is hydrogen and helium. So let's see what's. What is this? Oh, uh, all the other inner planets have been, yeah, blown up. Uh, let's try something. Let's. Okay, just wanted to show you guys quickly what I was talking about with the core. So, let's go to Neptune. See, there's a mass of fourteen. Point five Earths and it um yeah you see it it's um coal which is over here is basically iron and silicate rocks and then the mantle which is this part here is basically just um water, ammonia, and methane ices. Okay, it's not actually ice, but um, you see at the at um, Neptune's distance from the sun, it's um, 20, no wait, this is Uranus. We want to go to Sorry, I have to correct myself. Mass is 17.1 Earths. Luckily, I caught that in time. <coughs> but um, just like Uranus, Neptune has a um, <coughs> pretty big iron and silicate core with a thick mantle of um, water, ammonia, methane, ice, but like I said before, it's not actually ice, it's um, because of the high temperatures within Neptune, it, um, it's more liquid, so Ur Neptune and Uranus are termed, um, called, also called ice giants, like I said in a previous video. Um, but because of the distance, 
that Neptune is from the Sun. Let me just turn off the um, the clients. The Sun is way over there, and um, the temperature of um, Neptune is yeah, as you can see, minus two hundred twenty-two degrees Celsius, or uh, in um, well, it doesn't show as Fahrenheit, but um, yeah, it's pretty cold. So even though Neptune's and Uranus's mantles are made of um, liquid methane, water, and ammonia um, because of the high temperatures. They are termed ice giants because of the cold temperature. Um, I'll explain it more in another video, but um, they are termed ice giants because normally these uh, materials are, ma are usually in the form of ice, normally. But in the high temperature inside, inside um, Uranus and Neptune, they are in the liquid form. So, let me try the thing with the bang again. But this time, I just want to slow down the time. Because this time we're going to do a collision with planets. A planetary scale black holes and stars versus solar system not so much so uh, go away so and let not turn that on so we're going to launch uh, let's see let's see let's see earth versus neptune and yeah, here we go and uh, and in a few moments we're gonna have Earth colliding against Neptune. Uh, let's just assume just for the fun of it some that something caused the Earth to um, basically get kicked out of its orbit and it's now heading out towards the towards space outer space so so um unfortunately it got kicked being thrown in by neptune but just remember this is for fun just for just for the fun of it so any wait oh yeah the the trails are off Earth is slowly picking up speed because Neptune is quite a heavy planet seventeen times the mass of Earth. And Earth's temperature is slowly but surely dropping as we speak. It was 15.1, now it's 14.6. Oh my. Earth, you're looking a bit dark under the weather. So and here we go and kablooey. Oh my, that was a that was a bang. Bye bye Earth. Bye bye home planet. And all these fragments are being drawn back towards Neptune. Speed of speed 
up a bit. And Neptune has become a big ball of redness. Uh, planetary collisions and that in another video whoa Neptune's got quite a bit of a um, axial wobble normally it doesn't have this kind of axial wobble but um, because of the collision now it does just wanna try something okay we're going random rocky planet just want to try something let's see if this works quite a bit of a hefty spin wobble yeah that is what may have happened with Uranus large planet hits it and caused um, Uranus to basically have the orbit that it does um, but I'll talk about that in another video as well just want to check the orbits and huh. Neptune's orbit has gone into the Kuiper belt well that should be interesting in a few billion years or so Like I said, here's Uranus, and yeah, as you can see, it's spinning on its side. But I think I've mentioned this in a previous video, where a large object, uh, planet, does also hit it at hit the planet at its side. We don't know which side, but it caused. Uranus to spin the way it does today. Eh, but um, yeah, that's about it for today. Just wanted to have some fun with the. Just wanted to wish you guys all a happy new year and all that jazz. Hope you guys had a bit of fun with this now. So, I'll see you guys in the next video, okay? Cheerios!